All right, so this is part two. Uh, so this is for you guys that are got the instructions in class, um, but don't have a model set because you guys are at home. So um, this is for you guys. So we're actually gonna start building these models. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your molecular model lab. Um, and I already did that first example here. And then you're gonna need our reference sheet. Okay, now there's a lot of different stuff on the reference sheet. You really just wanna be concerned with this part right here. And I'll show you, I'll sort of zoom in on this, but this is the part you want to focus on. Okay, so it's this, it's this part right here. It's the uh, angles, the molecular geometry, um, the examples, and then the pictures right here. So just focus on this part, because that'll help you figure out what the shapes are. Okay, this other stuff, we'll talk about that later on. All right, so uh, we have our Lewis structure um, for water. We already did that. And so now we don't want to know, well, what is the shape of this thing? So this is where we're going to build it. So if you notice, here's all the color coding of all the different uh, models that we have. So we're going to take one oxygen, which if you notice on here is red. So I'm going to take this red one. And then I'm gonna attach two hydrogens to it. Now, hydrogen is white. So I'm gonna take these sticks and I'm gonna sort of put these in the, the oxygen. And I'm gonna take the two white hydrogens and stick them together. So it's gonna look something like this. So building this is really important because it'll show you what the actual shape is. Now I'm gonna go to my uh, I'm gonna to go to my paper here, my reference sheet. I'm gonna find something that has two atoms attached to a central atom and just two atoms attached to the central atom, okay? And you'll notice I have one of them is linear. So that has two atoms attached to the central atom. And then I have bent, which is two atoms attached to the central atom. And then I have this other bent at the bottom, which also has two atoms attached to the central atom. So I have three sort of options here as to what my shape might be, but it's all based on how many atoms are attached to the central atom, okay? So now I wanna go a step further. I wanna look at the Lewis structure. Well, my Lewis structure has two lone pairs on the central atom. So that's what I also wanna look at. Two atoms attached to the central atom and also two lone pairs on the central atom. Well, this doesn't have any lone pairs, so it can't be linear. And I know that just from the shape of the mo molecule, right? It's not linear. Um, if I go to the next one that has two atoms attached, it's right here. The Lewis structure has one set of lone pairs on the central atom, so it's not that either. So if I drop down to the bottom, this one has two atoms attached to the central atom and it has two lone pairs on the central atom. So that means this has to be the shape. So my shape is bent, which is, kind of what it looks like, it looks bent. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write the word bent for my shape, and then I'm gonna actually just draw a rough sketch of what this actually looks like. Okay, so it looks something like that, and then you don't have to do this, but I have colored pencils, so I'm gonna color this one in red, just to give it a little more clarity, like, okay, that's what that bent molecule looks like. All right, now bond angle, once you establish what the shape is, then you can go back to your reference sheet and you can go over to the bond angle and whatever is linked up with that shape, that's the bond angle. For the, so for this case, 109.5 is my bond angle, okay? Um, molecular polarity, we're actually gonna skip this for right now. So don't worry about that last column. You can do that later on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just show you the different shapes. And then uh, your job is to look at those shapes and just figure out like what is the correct name for that shape after looking at it. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple of these. So the next one is phosphorus, which is gray. And I have three hydrogens attached to the phosphorus. So it's gonna look something like this. And then I'm gonna have three hydrogens attached to the central atom. So it's gonna look something like this. So this is my 
uh, pH3, pH3, looks like this. So again, your job is to just sketch this. So you can probably pause the video as I hold it up. Um, you can sketch this, and then you can write what shape you think this is, okay? And you can base it off of how many atoms are attached to the central atom, and then if there's any lone pairs, all right? So then take your sheet and just try and figure out what shape this matches up with, okay? And then write the bond angle. So that's pH 3. So I'm just going to go through some more of these. So nitrogen, all right, now what you should do is you should already have the Lewis structure drawn first. So don't go backwards. Draw the Lewis structure first, then start looking at all the shapes of these things. Okay, so it turns out that nitrogen is going to have a triple bond. So you use springs for the triple bond. So there's two of the three, and then there's the third one. So nitrogen looks like this. It's a triple bonded uh, two nitrogen atoms. Now, this is not on your sheet uh, because there's only two elements stuck together. But you can think of it as like, well, if I make two points and I, and I connect them together, that's always going to form a line. So anytime you have two atoms stuck together, it will always be linear, okay? That one's always linear. So the bond angle is always 180. All right, so we did water, we did pH 3. I'll just set them over here. And we did nitrogen. Okay, that's the first three. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple more and then, uh, and then that'll be it for today. So the next one is CH2. So C is carbon. I'm going to attach two hydrogens to the carbon. And the way that they write this sort of tries to help you figure out how they're connected together. So those two hydrogens, they're trying to show you by writing it like this, that the two hydrogens are actually connected to the carbon. And then we have an oxygen, which is red, which is connected to the carbon. Um, and it's actually, it's double bonded. So where are my springs. So I'm going to use the springs for a double bond. And I'm going to put one here and one there. And then I'm going to connect this to this guy. So it looks something like this. I have a carbon, I have two hydrogens, and I have a red oxygen connected to it. So it looks something like that. Okay, there's the three dimensional shape. That's C H2. Oh, all right, NH4 is next, starting with nitrogen. Four hydrogens attached to it. One, two, three, and four. And then I have some hydrogens. One, two, three, and four. So this is NH4, nitrogen in the middle, four hydrogens all surrounding, okay? So you can see what that looks like on like a three-dimensional three dimensional world. Okay, uh, let's see. The next one is HBr. So hydrogen is white. Uh, bromine is, I think it's orange, but let's double check. Uh, bromine is orange. So I'm just gonna connect these guys together. Here's a bromine, here's a hydrogen, done. It looks something like that, okay? HBr. Uh, CH4, carbon, with four hydrogens. So there's one carbon, and we're gonna attach four hydrogens to the carbon. It's gonna look similar to NH4. Okay, so we have one, two, ah, three, and four. So it's gonna look something like this, all right? So CH4. Okay, the last one is CH3NH2. So this one looks interesting. So there's a carbon. Now, the way they write this is also helpful because there's H3, which means those three H's are actually connected to the carbon. So I'm gonna connect three hydrogens to the carbon. This guy. And then I have three hydrogens here. One, two, and three. So there's my CH3. And now I have a nitrogen connected to it. So I'm going to connect. 
connect this. And then the nitrogen is blue. And then I have two hydrogens connected to that nitrogen. Okay, so again, the way they write it sort of gives you a hint as to how these are all connected together. So it's going to look something like this. All right, so I've got, uh, let me spin it around. So I've got a carbon, three hydrogens attached to the carbon, and then I have a nitrogen also attached to the carbon, and then I have two hydrogens attached to that nitrogen. Okay, so when you look at it, this looks weird because uh, it actually has two different shapes. So one of the shapes, if I cover this up or I just take it off, one of the shapes looks like this. So that's one of the two shapes. The other shape looks like this. Okay, so you got to figure out what are these two shapes and they're just connected together. But this one's a larger molecule, so it actually has two different shapes. So you just write both shapes. All right, so that's, that's about all we're going to probably get through today. So as long as you can get through that. And then your homework is just going to be to go through and write all the Lewis structures for all the ones that we didn't do. That way, when we come back, um, we can quickly go from the Lewis structure and just build the rest of these. All right, I hope that helps.